Hey everyone, I'm Steve. And I'm Steven. And this is Cherry Knoll Whiskey Reviews. And today we are drinking Penelope's Rose Cask Finish. So, as of right now, the Rose <clears throat> Cask is the newest release from Penelope for its Copper Series. Excellent. Uh, once again, it's their four year aged uh, standard bourbon, but finished with rose cask staves or in the rose casks themselves. Now, you were saying when you first kind of heard of this or when you first saw it, you weren't too confident in it. Yeah, I like, I saw it and I was like, uh, rose is not my yeah. favorite type of wine. And if I think about things being finished, it takes the best parts and kind of gives that to the whiskey. And because I'm not a huge fan of rosé wines, I was like, well, it's not going to offer anything for me. Right. Uh, until finally I just said, well, let me see what the bottle has to say. And the bottle itself says Penelope Bourbon Copper Series explores the marriage of different cask finishes with our signature four grain straight bourbon whiskey. Sweet and savory on the palate, rosé cask finish <coughs> offers notes of candied vanilla and strawberry sweetness from southern France. And I said, well, sounds great. <laughs> I really enjoy vanilla and yep. I like strawberries. Yep. So I guess I'm going to give it a try. Let's do it. And why not share that with you guys? Here we are. So, in typical fashion, I'll struggle with... I started it for you. I see that. Help you out a little bit. I'll struggle with this little piece of plastic for 10 minutes. And, uh, of course, we'll uh, just, you know, kind of sit here. Awkwardly. Awkwardly. Stare at each other. Glass cork. Yes. I uh, love it. It I looks so fancy. Notice that as well when I had picked it up that it is a extremely unique looking glass mm -hmm. top. Yeah. Which actually makes it a little bit difficult to Because it's just got uncork. a piece of plastic on it or what? Oh, yeah, yeah it's so just a little rubber It's got a little grommet. rubber grommet right up against kind of the top and the neck. Just kind of fits right in there. Unique. Nice Very and, unique. Nice and unique. Great branding. I think so. It's got very uh, light looks for yep. a light wine finish. Quite, uh, quite feminine. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Hopefully the flavors are uh, as bold as a lot of their other offerings. I don't even know if I've ever even had a rosé. No? I, feel, I must have. That's like the pink wine? stuff, right? Yeah, it's not red wine. It's not <laughs> okay. white wine. <laughs> okay. Somewhere in between. I, I like I like red wine. I've had, I've had most red wine. So do you like dry yes. red wines or yeah. do you like sweet? Yeah, no, dry. So I think rosé is More of a sweet on thing, right? a sweet end compared to dry reds, but a dry end of white wines, which tends oh, to be Oh, interesting. Sweet. Okay. I think. I Don't quote me not on a, that. Not a wine sommelier? No, definitely no. not. I'm not getting much off as I'm, the first... The nosing. first nosing for me was grain forward. So your yeah. typical, uh, you know, your dry kind of corn notes, like a corn dust. Mm -hmm. And then uh, from the corn dust, it does go into the strawberry. I can. Do you really? I yeah, can not... smell that sweet red fruit off the tail of the dry, dusty. <clears throat> I, I kind of smell like the, like it smell, it smells more of like, like if you have, if you have a bunch of the strawberry greens all okay. together, 
I, it's I not not that. not so much like the sweet fruitiness of it, but like you know how the greens kind of smell more herbal, but also like a strawberry. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I do. That's that's kind of where I'm where I'm at with it. I think uh, what that is for you is some of the ethanol mixing in yeah, with the possibly. strawberry scent. Yeah. Uh, this is 94, 94. proof. 47% alcohol, and this is batch, would you say that's a five? Yeah. Kind of uh, just a squiggly batch line. Batch S. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Yeah. But yeah, as it opens mm. up, I can definitely smell, smell the grains kind of being tamped down a little bit by some <coughs> bright red fruit yeah. sweetness. Yeah, it's it's getting it's getting sweeter and sweeter the more I kind of just Yeah, the more it kind of opens it. up. Yeah. It uh it definitely gets the vanilla is coming forward yeah. and the red fruits. Shall we? I think so. very different on the palate from every other uh penelope we've had yeah it's it's different enough that i would almost think that it's not totally different. their normal like base for yeah. grain yeah that started it yeah yeah that that adds or changes it so drastically Like, even the mouthfeel almost feels a little bit more tingly. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it's not like the ethanol it, tingle, but it, I, it's not I, I like think... the smooth, oily yeah. that you get from a lot of bourbons. Yeah, I, I think it, it feels more like a dry wine. Yes, yeah. Like, it's kind of like, afterwards, your mouth is kind of like... A little bit dry. Like, like, a, not abrasive. I don't know what that what the word I'm looking for is, but it's like, yeah, that, that just like dry wine kind of feel to it. Well, your taste buds <coughs> get a little puckered. A little puckered. A little yeah, puckered. yeah. I don't taste any strawberry, any, any, uh, like, fruity berry flavors yet. I don't know if you do. Yeah, so letting it completely coat over my tongue, uh, you know, as it kind of goes down the sides, I get more of that red berry sweetness. Uh, kind of the first tip of my tongue gets the vanilla sweetness, mm -hmm. and then like the center gets that like dry wine, not like flavor, it just more of just dryness. Yeah on yeah. the center of my tongue but as it goes over the sides that's where i'm getting that red berry sweetness <clears throat> yeah so if you're just mm. sipping it straight back you end up you with that so little bit of vanilla on the tip and then just dryness back but if you let it really coat over that's when you're going to start getting a lot more of the flavor opening up have you ever had the um the red berries like that's in like a special K cereal yes. or something. Yeah, it's the like, dehydrated like, like that. Like de fruit. Yeah, dehydrated fruit is what I'm yes. kind of getting now. Yeah. Um, hmm. Not as not as sweet at all as I expected. No, it to be. so comparing this to their other wine finish that we've had on this channel, which is the Valencia the Valencia had imported dark fruits and citrus. Yeah. And it was just so rich and sweet. While this is definitely more delicate, like it, it went opposite spectrum to delicate with very light mm -hmm. flavors that have been imported. Yeah. But it changed their standard four grain 
so much that it it definitely has an impact on it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like the flavor, the flavors are there, definitely. But you 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 almost have to try harder to get them out. Yes. The the yeah, Valencia you, was like you take a sip and it's like that right. tastes you, like you know what you're bitters getting right away. and orange and like very obvious. Right. Like, this is what this is. This one's not as obvious. It's it's good. It's good, right. But it it's obvious that it's different. But yeah. to pick out the differences, you're hunting a little bit more for it. Mm -hmm. uh, still very good. Uh, not something if you want a mindless sipper, but if you're looking to kind of delve into something and kind of pick it apart. If you're looking to unpack something. Right. Yeah. Definitely. This would be a great one for that. Definitely. I'd like to see what a full pour would do for me. Like, pour it, wait 45 minutes, you know, just come back to it, let it sit, let right. it do its thing. After I'd it like starts to see to open up. How, how that changes things. Yeah, I but. mean... Typically, when I pour myself a glass, I will end up sipping that one glass for a good hour to two hours while doing other things and then just kind of being like, oh, yeah, nose a little bit, give yeah. it a sip. Yeah. And, uh, you know, throughout that much time, you can really it changes. have things open up and change. Mm -hmm. And especially with this being the neck pour of this bottle, you know, who knows by the time that we get down halfway. Right. Uh, this particular bottle could end up being that candied vanilla mm -hmm. strawberry that they talk about on the label without really having to hunt for it. Yeah. So possibly we when we see. start getting a little bit further through this one, we'll come back and kind of give you guys an update on it. We should do that. We should go back and revisit the bottles that we tasted the first half of and then do the same like a, a, the an, a same exact review of like the last half right i think that'd be that'd be interesting well i mean the valencia, valencia is, is there. already there yeah and we do need to still make the smoked old fashioned yes and uh which we did Right, not, we, we did off camera not on camera and uh i thought it was absolutely delicious uh i can't speak for you but I, uh, oh I, it was it was the best old-fashioned i've had yeah yeah I, I think it's worth giving it a try on this channel and yeah see how things go definitely and give you guys kind of an idea of what i'm talking about when i say a smoked old-fashioned right because i know there's there's a lot of difference yeah there's, differences between the way people make their old fashions yep. i think we should do a blind old-fashioned taste test with your wife we each, we each make an old fashioned our way. Okay. And and Courtney picks picks which one she, she likes. likes the best, knowing nothing about them. Right. I think we should do that. Um, we'll have to get her approval, but I I think she'd be willing. Yeah. Get her a little bit more involved, yeah. picking bottles for us and things like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any ideas of any videos we should make in the future, let us know. Comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Something about a bell. Yeah. See you later.